Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 9 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so Miss Green had some fabric to make costumes for three different plays at school. The table shows the number of yards of fabric that Miss Green used to make the costumes for each play. So we've got our table here. So it looks like we've got play X. I don't know why we would call it play X, but that's fine. Play X uses 69 yards. Play Y uses 48 yards. And play Z equals 53 yards. Now, Miss Green had 27 yards of fabric left over after making costumes. So how many yards of fabric did Miss Green start with? All right, so this is going to be kind of tricky here. Look at my four answer choices. They're not that far off. All right, so we're not going to be able to eliminate one uh, just because it's ridiculous. So let's see what happens here. What happens if I... If I'm not understanding this problem, and I'm just going to add these three numbers, right? When in doubt, just add the numbers. Let's see what happens. All right, so that's going to be 17, that's 20. And that's 10, that's 17, 170. All right, so I do see an answer there. And that, that represents this right here. 170 yards. But you know what? I don't know what I'm doing with that one right there. So let me see if I can do it in a slightly different way. All right, so I'm going to draw a strip diagram. When in doubt, draw a strip diagram. Draw some type of representation. Okay, so what am I asking for? How many yards of fabric did she start with? I am asking for the total. All right. So what do I know about the number of yards that I've used? Okay. Well, I know that I've got some chunks up here. Uh, I've got a 69-yard chunk. Right. I've got a 48-yard chunk. And I've got a 53-yard chunk. But, and these obviously aren't supposed to be proportional here, I had 27 yards left over. So, when I was done with all of this, this, remember, was 170 yards. I still had 27 yards left over that I didn't use, that I could have used to make a new costume. All right? So then, if I've already done that work, right, then it seems like all I need to do is I've got a part, part, whole. Now that I've done the work of adding the 69, the 48, and the 53 to make 170, Let's just add 170. 27. All right, so that's going to be 7. It's going to be 9. That's 197. All right, that looks a little bit better. I've got that right there. So how can I be sure? Well, let's, let's go back. And I'm going to say leftover. I'm going to add to this table. Because you see this quantity right here? I could really just add this to this table and say 27, right? That's my total. 69 for play X, 48 for play Y, 53 for, for play Z, and then 27 left over after making the costumes. And so how much did I start with? Well, let's just take those and let's add them all up. I know I already did the 170, but I just want to double check. So 69, 48, 53... 27. Now, here's the strategy I use when I start adding big columns of numbers. I look for 10s. And you see that 7 and 3 make a 10. So that's a 10, right? And then 9 and 8, that's a fact that's 17. So 10 and 17 is going to make 27. So that's a lot of numbers to kind of keep in your mind. I'm going to look for another 10. Take a look at this. 6 and 4 make another 10. And then I've got 2 and 5 make 7. And then... Uh, so that's going to be 9. So 10 and 9 is 19. 197. So I do end up with that same answer again. And that is my answer B.